Hey, welcome to this guide on how to set up a P Nucleo L012 pack as a Laureate gateway. My name is Hugues. Um, I work for ST in Sydney, and you will find all my other guides on truestepbystep.com. So here's the plan. First, I will show you why we're doing this, give you some context. Then I will show you where you can find all the documentation you need to read. The third step will be a demo. We will actually configure the gateway. And the fourth step is just a suggestion of what you could do next. So why are we doing this? As I explained in a separate video, we are trying to set up a LoRa network. The LoRa network is composed of three main elements. You have N nodes. These are sensors dispatched in the wild, which gather data and send it out on the LoRa waves. Then you have gateways. The gateway receives data on those LoRa waves and transfers it to a network server. And then you have the network server, which can be Laureate or the Things Network or Actility or My Devices, which receives all that data and makes it available from anywhere. What we're trying to do here is configure this board here as a Laureate gateway. That is, something that will receive data from LoRa and nodes and transfer it to Laureate. So where to find the documentation? Everything is listed on my website. So when you open the guide, um, you have this section here and you can click on the links and it will just bring you to what you have to read, okay? This guide is not meant to be standalone or um, to, to have all the information. It is more of a head start. I want you to know where you can find the answers you may be looking for, and also to be aware that you know all of this is quite easy because we're gonna do it within less than 10 minutes. I highly recommend starting by reading UM2587, which is the official um, user manual for the Nucleopack. Okay. It will tell you everything you need to know. And for instance, on page 29, you will find the gateway setup and configuration, which is what we're going to do now. So once you have your pack, which you bought online for $99, you connect the antenna and then you connect it to your laptop as shown on the picture. Once this is done, you can connect to your board using TerraTerm or another hyper terminal. You have to make sure that you configure the baud rate to 115 to 100. Once this, once this is done, you can reset your board and you will see the following logs out of the box. And as detailed in the user manual, you have to configure two things here, the region and the laureate address. This is done through 80 comments. You can display all the AT comments by typing AT plus help. Here we will use AT plus CH and AT plus packet forward. You now have to go on Lord's website and create an account. You will have to pick a region, which depends on where you're located. In my case, I picked Australia. You will be directed towards a different website, and this address here is what you had entered on your gateway. So in my case, au1.laureate.io. When you log in onto the Laureate portal, this is what you will see. As you can see, we have no gateways registered here. You can register one gateway for free. So let's do it. Click on P Nucleo error 12. Here you have to enter the gateway MAC address. You can find it in the logs right here. Tuck. You can now register your gateway. The last thing we have to do now is configure the region on Laureate. Click on configure, 
region, select your region, then you also have to change the channel plan. Remove plans, add band, I will select that one. That's it, we configured our Laureate gateway. Now, as you can see, my gateway is disconnected. That's because it is not connected to Ethernet. So I'm going to do that right now. I just connected my Laureate gateway to Ethernet. And now if I refresh the portal, it should appear as connected. Here it is. So that's it. We configured our P Nucleo L012 pack as a Laureate gateway. What to do next then? If we look back at the LoRa network, well, we could set up a endnode. For example, we could set up a STM32WL as a Laureate endnode. Or we could create a dashboard, and this could be done using STM Cube Monitor. I made two other videos on those topics. Thank you.